Hi, it's James Taylor, keynote speaker and founder of Super Creativity U. Today, I want to talk to you about where do ideas come from? The philosopher John Locke once said that all ideas come from sensation or reflection. Sensation or reflection reflection. And I think this is an interesting thing to think about in terms of our, where our own ideas might come from and how best we can really utilize our, our own levels of creativity. So I don't know about you, but for, for many people during this time of lockdowns and where we might not be able to move quite as freely as we once, we once could, this has actually been quite a challenging time for our creativity. All the studies show is that productivity has actually been pretty good during this time. In fact, in some cases, it's actually gone up because some people have been able to now work from home and they find they're just a little bit more efficient and effective working from home. But when you look at creativity, many organizations, top executives, top leaders that I speak to say that they've actually kind of struggled in terms of that creativity. And that is then having an impact upon levels of innovation within the organization. So... This idea that John Locke said that ideas come from either sensations or from reflection. Let's talk about that. Um, for some people, they require lots of inputs. That's how they they get their creative juices flowing. They love being out in the world, loving meeting people, going to galleries, checking out new ideas, going online, just just really immersing themselves in lots of inputs, generating lots of inputs, because for them, their ideas really require the fuel of sensations, of having lots of different sensations. That's the kind of fuel for them. But not everyone is like that. For others, they actually do their greatest work. They may have a little bit of that, but they do their greatest work and their deepest work when they can stop, pause, and they go to a deeper level of reflection and they can sort and sift that information. So they might have had lots of sensation, maybe early in their careers, they've, they've done lots of different things, but they go to a different point in their lives where they need to just be still for a little bit and reflect on all of this and think, what does it mean? Um, what can I create? What can we design? What can we innovate from some of these ideas? And for some people I know, this has actually been quite a, a really creative time the time we've just been going through because for the first time in their lives it's forced them to sit still and reflect they can't go and travel to get new ideas they can't go and meet with people have coffees with people go to those meetings go to those conferences they have to be in one place and just sit and reflect so think about yourself you know ask yourself this question are you do you get some of your ideas do your that engine for you does it come primarily from generating lots of sensations lots of inputs for yourself or do you maybe work a little bit better when you have that real strong long larger period of time for reflection for most of us you know john locke said sensations or reflections ideas come from sensations or reflections i would actually say for the vast majority of us, we need a little bit of both. And it's about finding those balance between those things. So you have enough inputs, enough new ideas, enough uh, kind of firepower juice that's coming in for that creative engine of your mind. But at the same time, you can stop, you can pause, you can reflect, you can let your mind kind of defocus a little bit and start perhaps to see the patterns. So think about that for yourself. Do you have enough time for those sensations? Do you have enough time for those reflections? in your own creative work. My name is James Taylor. Thanks for watching.